in the world of mental health. And we partner with kids in need of dentistry, and this is their space. Perception can be everything. We didn't want it to feel institutional. We didn't want it to feel like a clinic. We wanted people to come in, feel welcome. For Dawn Davenport, her work at the Mental Health Center of Denver revolves around that creed. As a community mental health center, we knew that we could do the, the mental health piece of it. Um, and it was a matter of finding out what else was needed in this community to make this more of a comprehensive center. So this is one of our play therapy spaces. From the wallpaper, to the lighting, to the activities that are offered here, it all centers around destigmatizing a word that has held too much power in our community for far too long. You know, being a person of color and, and admitting that you need something is a huge, it's very difficult. Leisha Groves is the Associate Director of Operations here and knows that firsthand as her father took his own life when she was young. People are, are, are suffering and they're, it's a hidden illness. Research from Columbia University shows that adults in the black community are 20% more likely to experience serious mental health problems and young black adults experience higher rates of mental health problems while using mental health services less than their white counterparts. You've got to be two or three steps better than so that means you can't be vulnerable you can't show uh, any 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 what would be considered in the community weakness Dan Gillison so is the CEO the of the National that's Alliance that's on Mental Illness and says that perception of vulnerability traces back to slavery and the inequities black men and women still face every day there are also socioeconomic factors that affect access to health care and exposure to contributing mental health factors such as homelessness and crime you're starting to see more people say that I live with I exist with I accomplished with this, and it's starting to resonate in, in communities of color. This space has helped people accomplish something similar as it works to change the perception of mental illness. People will stop me afterwards and be like, so, and we're having tea. It's, we're not even talking about mental health, <laughs> anything. And so, and they're like, what if I wanted to talk to someone? I'm like, oh, I don't know. And so, so there's just something about normalizing, normalizing this space of, of what a mental health clinic looks like. I'm Dan Grossman reporting.